Hi, right, y'all. So you're back here on an episode of Indigo Podcast. And today I got a special guest. You can see him right here. Aiden, that, y'all? best friend, you know. So um, topic of this is just the journey of him. You know, obviously he just graduated. If you didn't know, he, he's in college now. So it's the journey, you know, being a college athlete. So I just got 10 questions for him and we're going to see how he responds. But first question, like I kind of know, but people probably don't know. Like what made you want to join track? Like why? Well, shoot, what made me want to join track was really, you know, I was trying to play basketball and it wasn't really working out. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, one day I happened to go hoop with you and Ty and Autumn. (laughs) And I ended up asking them, uh, you know, if I should join track since they was doing it. And they was like, you know, might as well. It's just fun, you know. And I mean, my dad did it and my brother did it. So I was just like, you know what? I might as well. And... I end up joining a check and end up, you know, having fun with it. Nah, he's pretty fast too. He be rolling. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> nah, uh, I remember that we was just hooping and then he asked me and now here he is going to college for it. So that's what's up. But uh, yeah, uh, next question though. Like you kind of mm-hmm. talked about it, like your parents and stuff, like you hooping, but like what like sports did you play? Like before you took running serious, like did you play anything other than basketball or? I did basketball and then I did boxing but not like not like you know AU boxing I just really just mm-hmm. did it like as a just to do it yeah so I did boxing and uh basketball for the most part and I did football too but that was that didn't last long though <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, yeah I played football too I always took like I was a line and I was O-line D-line like big body I used to play mm-hmm. football too it was it was really fun we went like 8 no like I was on B team. No. Yeah, I was B-team. on B team. It was really cool. But football, if I ever played it, I, I mean, I'm a senior now. I'm just doing track and cross. So I doubt it. But if I ever played like on some cool stuff, I'd probably be like a safety. I could just like on some cool stuff or like quarterback. But anyway, enough about mm-hmm. football because we don't play football. <laughs> we run track. <laughs> Next question. Like, what's your favorite event to run? I know what you might say. Favorite event? Of course, 200. <laughs> yeah, it was either the two or the four. But yeah. Yeah, 200. Four, I'm still trying to, you know, I'm still kind of trying to get the mechanics down for the four. I just started doing the 100 too, but my main is the 200, and I like the 200 more. 400 comes in second, 100 comes in last. Yeah, I know you don't like relays at all. I mean, I don't blame you. I like the four by four, that's about it. Yeah, relays, eh. I mean, I don't mind one of them, you know, mm-hmm. no fun to one. It's just, mm-hmm. I don't know. Nah, I feel you. I mean, the thing about relays, it is really complex. Like especially with the the like the four by one and the four by two, you're going so fast that it's so easy to drop the baton. Like it's so easy, and people even mm-hmm. drop in the four by four. So uh, mm-hmm. I mean, but the four by one and four by two is just so fast to the point where you have to just be so intentional with the baton because people just drop it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I you got to be locked yeah. in in order to catch that thing. Nah, I, you, I mean. I have my experiences. I dropped it a couple times, but <laughs> nah, yeah, we're not yeah. going to talk about that. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. No, I mean, it happens. It happens. I don't yeah. think, uh, I mean, the only one I ran for real was the 4x4 four four, and I ran the medley. I remember that 800, bro. That 800 was crazy. <laughs> I know. I, I think you know which one I'm talking about. I was on the ground. Like, mm-hmm. it was crazy. Wasn't that, I think that was like uh, one of the first runs I seen you do. Yeah, I think that was the first. That was the first one. I remember it was at uh, Morton. It was super. It was. Bro, I was wearing a long sleeve, a gray long sleeve. I had like a red headband. I didn't have the gray or the black one yet, and mm-hmm. it was cold. It was not as cold as the one you weren't there. It was one at Seven Lakes. You can ask Jacob, uh, bro. Mm-hmm. We had like two blankets over us. We was next to each other. Like, bro, it, I'm glad you didn't have to experience that. It was bad. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, that was a dual meet. I think it was against. It wasn't against KD. It was, uh, I think it was seven. Or s- s- no, no, no. It was side lakes. Nah, it was side lakes because I remember. It was, yeah, I yeah. remember they did that four by that mixed four by four, and they had four dudes. Nah, it was OP. It was OP. <laughs> I think KD did the same thing. Wait, no, side, yeah. no. It, it was side lakes. Side lakes did have a, like all dudes, and then we had like girls mixed in, so it was kind of unfair. I mean, it is what it is. They still ran it, so. It's whatever. Yeah. But next question. Why did you choose to go with St. Thomas? Like, why'd you pick that one? Shoot. 
St. Thomas, I just felt like it was the most, you know, the one who, I just feel like it was the most welcoming. And, mm-hmm. you know, it was close to home. And I went, I'm a family man, so <laughs> I like to stay close sure. to my family. For so sure, that's another sure. thing. It was just close. And, you know, that was really like, another thing that played the fact is that that was really the only one I went on a visit for. Because mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't schedule no other visits, which I should have, but I'm so happy I chose this school. And, Shoot, it's it was one of my first offers too. So yeah, it maybe, just felt like the right thing. Yeah, maybe it's meant to be. Maybe it's premeditated. I don't know. I ain't, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, because you know, like they, you got like U of H and like all like the more well known ones, and just the fact mm-hmm. you went with that one, like that kind of stood out to me. So I'm like, obviously for me, like college, I'm still kind of thinking about it. Like I've looked at uh, UT. I looked at H, uh, not H, <laughs> U of H. I looked at U of H and I looked at um, A&M. And mm-hmm. I mean, I think the main thing is like, do you morally agree with that college? Like, cause you know, some colleges like the community's off. So mm-hmm. the fact that you st- said that really stood out to me. Like, I'm going to look for that when I, if, if I, cause I mean, let's just say this whole thing blows up. I ain't gonna lie. I don't see a need for it. I- I'm <laughs> sure you agree. Like, I don't see a need for it, but I mean, mm-hmm. you never know. College, I mean, like- yeah. It also depends on, like, if you plan on going to a big school or, like, a small mm-hmm. school. Because that's yeah. another thing that played a factor into it. Because I wanted yeah. to go to a small school because, like, right. the class sizes and everything. So, make it, you know, to make it more, I guess, to make it to, like, the professors, it's easier for them to actually help you one-on-one. Right. Because, yeah. like, the classes for, for St. Thomas, I think it's, like, 20 at most. Mm-hmm. But, like, as if I went to you, if I was to go to U of H, there was just, like, almost 30 to 35 per class or something like that. Probably even more. Like, what do you mean by, like, by per class? Like, people, like, in the class? Yeah, like, people in the class. Oh, okay. I mean, actually, if you, if you think about it compared to high school, that's not that far off. I thought it would. I, I thought it would have been more. Like, I think, like, okay, like, let's compare it to, like, Rice, like, an Ivy League school, like, or, like, Harvard. Like, would it be, like, OD people in there? Like, Harvard? Harvard, I think it is a good amount of people. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'd figure, because, I mean, even though it's less people that get in, I would assume that they crowd more people. That's all, just what I assume. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, college, that's definitely er- er- But Once you hit 17, because I'm pushing 20, apparently, to some dude. <laughs> uh, like, w- once you hit 17, like, senior year, that's when people really start. Like, every time someone pulls up on me, like, talking to me, like, well, what about college? What about mm-hmm. college? You know, so it's definitely. Yeah, that's how it is. As soon as you get to your senior year, everybody just asking. It's real though. I mean, you really got to start thinking. You got to plan forward. But you know, it's just, it's it's an interesting question. You know, yeah. But, um, next question. Like, what are you looking forward to the most in college? Like, is it track? Like, you know, interacting with people, school. Like, what are you looking forward to the most? What I'm looking forward to the most is really just trying to see how far I can take my academics, and you know, trying to improve because I do want to. If some like at one point try to get to own my own business and stuff. Facts, yeah, yeah. So I do want to go in for that and try to you know learn more about it. Mm-hmm. And of course, I want to see how far you know my athleticism takes me. No, but sure, as of right sure. now, yeah, for I'm sure. just more focused on trying to have have what you know have what I can control. Like try to yeah. focus on what I can control right now, which is trying to you know get better informed about how to own a business, how to want it, and everything. Facts, yeah. But I mean, if yeah. I end up, you know, if this, if I end up getting faster and faster, who knows? I might, I could go polo. I don't know. No, nah, I was, I was actually, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't put this question on here, but I was thinking about like in terms of questions. Like, I was like, let's say running takes off. Like, same thing for me. Like, cause the big thing for, you know, track, like, or cross or whatever, the main reason I don't want to like go to college is for that, like cross. Cause I already talked to you about it, like the experience and just the bigger mileage and training is crazy. So mm-hmm. like, let's just say, cause I mean, your, your times are pretty fast. So in my opinion, they're pretty fast. So let's say like, you just got super fast, like obviously over time, and, like you, you had a chance to go to Olympics. Like, would you take it or like, like, what would you do with that? I think, I think I would take it. Cause I mean, yeah. At the same time, I could I could be like this one person. I forgot his name, but he worked full time at Walmart. 
Oh, and, no, I know who you're talking yeah. about. I don't know yeah. his name either. I know you're talking about. Talking and he about. ended up uh, winning like a fast time to the point he qualified for the Olympic trials. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, if something like that happens, I'm I'm taking the opportunity. Oh, not for sure. I would too. It's just like, you know, I mean, because it's a dude at Walmart can get that. Like, you definitely could. Someone at college, I mean, you'd be more prone to get it because you're in college. So, they, you know, but mm-hmm. I mean, that'd be tough though. But um, speaking of like kind of making it your career, like, do you want to make track your career? Like, or like, do you want to, you know, really focus on the business or do you want to do both? I thought about this hard. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was literally just thinking about it last night. <laughs> yeah, facts. So like, yeah. Cause I'm in the process of building my business right now. Mm-hmm. But then I like, I don't know. I mean, I just like track so much to the yeah. point, you know, it's just making me really want to think about it. But as of right now, I'll probably say it's like in between. Mm-hmm. I'll probably say it's in between as of right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I like, know, yeah. It, it just really depends on how my college career turns out for the most part. That's true. I mean, you can only look at, look ahead so much, you know, and I think I, I personally think you could pull off both if you wanted to. But I mean, mm-hmm. it depends on where your priorities are. But yeah, I mean, you could, you could. I mean, the business though, business is a really smart way to go about it. But Going back to college a little bit, like, what classes are you planning on taking? Like, what, like, are you majoring in? Or, like, if you have a minor, like, what do you want to minor in? As of right now, I don't have a minor right now, but I'm majoring in uh, business finance. Fact. That, that's <laughs> very, that makes very, that's a lot, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I always kind of, we already picked out classes, too. Mm. Uh, I just got to remember what the names are. I could pull it up right now, but I don't know. It might, it might take a little minute. Now you you ain't gotta you ain't gotta if you don't want to yeah. it's cool, but just, I know he's taking, I know, guys he's taking classes he's taking classes all you need yeah I'm taking classes I'm taking classes <laughs> he's taking classes <laughs> that's all that matters and I already got my major so nah but yeah. I know one of the classes is uh philosophy and I think I, I think I'm taking accounting mm, that'd be smart and for then, business that'd be smart yeah and then I think for the second semester I'm gonna do economics. That's smart. Yeah. So you're making very smart choices. Very smart. <laughs> I mean, because the thing is with me, with anything I do, like with school, especially with college, it has to bleed into what I'm actually doing. So, like, let's say one of the classes I was looking at, I think U of H has is like, um, what you call it, like um, filmmaking or like you wouldn't know whatever, because I obviously do recipes and like I film my yeah. life or whatever. So that would directly correlate with that. Because like, why would I be doing... um? U.S. history when I have nothing like or some for yeah. like a lawyer that has nothing to do with me. So I think like I really like like what you just said because you're doing stuff that applies to what you're trying to do. Cause I think a lot of people just do random stuff and they're wondering mm-hmm. why they have no skills for what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Now that that's no. really yeah. I would say because when I went to the orientation for your freshman year, there is classes that you are required to take. Yeah, yeah. But I think after your freshman year, it's just mainly depending on what your major and minor is. Mm-hmm. So, like, I mean, of course, your freshman year, you're still taking classes that's on your major and minor. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like the English and stuff, you still got, I think they said that you still got to take that for at least your freshman year. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've heard about that. Like, and even with the major, it's like, um, certain classes you have to take before to like get to another like kind of like with English thirteen oh one, yeah. You do that first in thirteen oh two, and then next year I think it's twenty three something something like that. Yeah, uh, twenty three. It's twenty three, twenty two, twenty three, twenty three. Yeah, yeah. So it's just kind of like progressing over time. But um, now we back to running. <laughs> These last three <laughs> questions gonna be about running because you know running is a big thing for both of us. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is your least favorite event to run? Mm. my least favorite event to run this could this could be like just overall enjoyment of running the event like the pain or so like just just in general like what's your least my least favorite um, <laughs> what's all the events i run the four by one four by two four by mm-hmm. four the dmr i what was a- supposed to do the smr Okay, what's the difference? Okay, DMR, I believe, is distance medley relay. Yeah. SMR is sprint medley relay. But I believe they called the the one I did the, the SMR, and I ran the eight, though. It might have been a DMR, but they called it the SMR. I don't know. The SMR, for the SMR, I think it's two people who wins the... Um, 200, I believe. Yeah, two people who wins the 200. 
and then one I think that's the four hundred, and then one do the eight hundred. I think. Oh, okay, okay. So DMR would probably be like <clears throat> DMR assume... is like when you get to the mile. Yeah, I'm assume, I did. Yeah. The, I did the four hundred for the DMR. So how did that go? Like, was it like four, four, eight mile, something like that? No, nah, it was only one person who ran the four. Oh, so two, four, eight mile. I'm assuming. That's right. Yeah, I think that's what that it sounds was. right. That sounds right. That would make sense to me. But uh, like thinking of everything you ran, like what's your least favorite? Like everything you just in terms of what you you ran. Yeah, because I mean, I can't I can't say I can't go on here and say like one mile because I don't you don't, don't want you don't, to don't yeah 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 now nah, like I do it for conditioning, but I just don't do it for an event, you know? Yeah yeah yeah. But if we're talking open. Uh, I don't know. It's like, I'll probably say the point it. Because, like, since I'm still trying to learn it, I have, like, yeah. a love-hate relationship for it. Yeah, the 400 is a beast. But, like, stuff. <laughs> like I'll probably, that's my least favorite, but it's also one of my favorites. I don't know if that makes I, sense. It's a love-hate. Nah, I know what yeah. you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's, it's mainly because that last 100 is just you in pain. <laughs> now, imagine, nah, because I'm thinking of Sydney McLaughlin, bro, with the hurdles. Imagine... Her, like, yeah, brother, yeah. that's because I, I used to think like the way I used to look at it like in terms of like the worst in terms of like pain I used to mm-hmm. think like the 400 was the worst but now I think about it it's probably 400 hurdles at one probably then like the 8 and then the 4 at 3 because I think with the 8 once you get rolling like really fast it gets really tough because I mean it's mm-hmm. basically two 400s just imagine two four hundred smack like it's tough. So uh yeah, I'll probably say for me, like I guess I'll say my least favorite to run personally. I'd say the one hundred. I just well, it just don't like I like unless it's like one hundred meter strides. I really like strides. Like after like an easy mm-hmm. run, I like that. But like in terms of like an all out blocks, you know, headband, spikes, all of that. No, I don't like it. It's just mm-hmm. like it's probably because I got dusted the one time I ran it. Because <laughs> I ran it. Actually, that's not the reason why. I'm just joshing. But that, but, you yeah. Know, one time I was at a dual meet in Katie. This is my sophomore year. And I ran the four. And I'm like, I want, no, I think it was before the four, something like that. Um, I ran the one. God, I didn't get out. I stood up straight away. You know, when you drive out, if you run track, yeah. if you stand up right away, you're getting cooked, you're done. So, uh, yeah, but I would probably say that 100 for me. I mean, yeah, I'd say the one hundred. The one hundred is just it's, it's all right. It's fun to watch though. It's all right. But um, second to last question, like what what's your end goal? Like what's your whole goal? Like just life in general. My end goal, sure. My end goal is to really just you know be able to enjoy life, you know, yeah, stuff like that, and making sure I can stay connected with God and. Try to, you know, because I also, I don't know, like I want to have my own business, but at the same time, I kind of want to have like a business with my family too. I feel you. I feel you. Because like I kind of want to do like a, like a, like a natural oil business. Like that's the ones that my parents want to make and I kind of want to help them with that. Yeah, not for sure. Really just trying to make sure, you know, like my family stays, you know, connected and good and everything, you know, because family problems can be, you know, it can be something. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah. our life is like it's, it's too short to be dealing with all that. That's why you know. That's why I just try my best to stay out of drama and everything. Because I mean, no, I feel you me, heavy. I feel you like, heavy on that one, bro. That one, yeah, yeah. Nah, but yeah. um, nah, but nah. Especially with socials, like I see so like especially. I don't want to call like more than out, but like especially. You know, at the area area we're in, it's a lot of people just kind of, you know, bickering over small stuff that really means nothing. Like it just it detracts you from what you really should be doing, your priorities. So I agree with you heavy on that. Just I think staying away from drama, just focusing on you and you know the tribe around you is really important. But uh last question we got here. I know this one gonna hit home. Like, what will you miss from high school track? <laughs> What would I miss from high school track? Almost pretty much everything, I would say. Facts. Like, I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, the people I got to meet, 
like the one like the ones I actually still hang around to today, those are the ones I'm proud about meeting and stuff and the uh, the people I've been able to help because you know even though I'm not in high school no more I still got you know some people from the high school team reaching out to me to try to help them and stuff mm-hmm. which I think is like I just think it's pretty cool you know because I got people you know looking up to me and asking me for help <laughs> no no for sure for sure that, yeah for sure for sure and shoot because I mean I do see I do see me probably doing some type of training or something for track in oh, the future sure. if I don't for sure, like. Yeah proceed with it but yeah i'll probably say like you know the coaching staff and you know the people i got to meet even the bad meets good meets and bad meets you know you gotta remember it all so i, you can I, I think you know what meet i just thought about <laughs> the one where the, the, i'll, I'll kind of just give y'all a rundown <laughs> it was it was i think pedo pedo i think I think you know which one I'm talking about, right? Yeah, the Pedo meet. Yeah, it was at Pedo. And I was recording, I think. And the thing with Pedo's blocks that we all despise, <laughs> the blocks, you grab them. Like, okay, I have my water bottle. Like, you grab Wait. it and you set it down. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I think it was Seven Lakes. I'm, it, was, I think. It, was, it was either Seven Lakes or Pedo. Either way, same, same thing I'm about to say applies. So you grab the block. And then you put it on the, you know, little racket thingy thing. That's a big no-no when it comes to blocks unless they're secure. Because the things we have at our school, it slides and it's connected to it. So, all right. Pretty much the whole thing that happened, Aiden drives out and then the block, like, is discombobulated and it flies backwards. And then he, like, you know, obviously he stumbles back. And then it probably took off like a second or two of his time. So, You've had some pretty interesting interactions with tracks, bro. Like, yeah, and that happened to be my that was my first meet, bro. my first ever meet. That's that's a well, that's, my first ever high school meet, I should say. Yeah, that's an interesting. Did, yeah, and it's just crazy the tone I did because in middle school I did hoodoos. Yeah, and then I just didn't one track so, uh, ninth grade and sophomore year, and then I just decided, you know, I just wanted junior year, you might as well, and just took on a love for you know. The regular opens. Nah, for sure. No, I mean, the weirdest interaction, I guess this could be a question for me, I guess, because I just think about it. The weirdest interaction I had in terms of track was, I think you were there. We were doing reps. Uh, and oh, we were doing an 800 because it's our over over distance day. I think you remember those. Mm-hmm. And I drove, like, I was at a good pace, like, like a four minute something pace. I was rolling. And mm-hmm. the girl comes on the track. And then I say track. You know when you run track, you say track loud so they can move. Yeah. I'm running on the track. She comes on the track. I say track. She doesn't move. And then last second, her friend tries to pull her. But at first, the girl, she moves into the track instead of off. So I was kind of confused. So I just ran it. Like, I clotheslined her. She fell. I was like. No, yeah. I I see. I remember remember seeing that, bro. You saw it? Ah, no. I seen it. (laughs) Now, I'm not going to lie. My reaction to it, I was like, oh. Ain't no way. Ooh. <laughs> nah, cause I, the thing is, I'm not that Aki yet. I'm not that Aki yet. But I'm still like, yeah. I'm a dude. And she's a female. Well, I mean, so, like, yeah. At the same time, if you're still running, though, and she's And I'm not, running pretty fast. Walking. I mean, that's physics. The uh, yeah. object's not moving. It's going to fall over. I'm running faster. Duh. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, she fell, and I felt a little bad. I, I ain't a lot. I got up. I kept running out. Like I gotta go. Like it was, it was like it's done. Like I right. felt bad though. But I hope she's all right. <laughs> but I don't even know who that was. I don't know. I don't even know if she went back. I don't remember who it was either. Though I don't even think she's running track anymore. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just remember that occurrence. That was interesting. But uh. Yeah, that was the pod episode with Aiden. Little, little, little funny episode. Just talking about you know journey to college and stuff. Cause you know, obviously all of us we're all like I'm sure everybody I'm kind of around. We're all around the same age group. You know, we're all thinking about college. So you know, just kind of thinking about what you want to do. Cause if you don't have an idea what you're, if you want to do, you're pretty much screwed. So um, mm-hmm. but yeah, uh, that was the episode with Aiden, and I'm gonna catch y'all next time. <laughs>